May the spirits of my ancestors walk beside you and protect you. Welcome to my country. Welcome to your country. Welcome to our country. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2018 Premier's Award. Tonight, as a nominee, as a finalist, you represent those hard-working men and women who have made the choice to step up and work for the public, to serve the community as all of us have. And the winner is... Reducing energy bill stress in Aboriginal social housing. And the winner is Dr. Antoinette Anazoto. Uncle Fertility is a new branch of medicine specialising in trying to reduce reproductive complications in cancer patients. And the Premier's Award for improving the service levels in hospitals goes to Project Red Blacktown Hospital. Our project is Project Red. It's about improving service levels in hospital, getting more people through our emergency department quicker, safer, and with higher quality care. And the winner is Thomas Glanville. Come on up here, Pacific Highway, final section, part of the McCourt Macquarie to Coffs Harbour. And the winner is Professor Weir Ariamrathne. And the winner is Go For Fun Online. And the winner is Creating Jobs For People With A Disability Through Social Procurement. It's about really thinking out of the box, being able to make a difference every day for people in New South Wales. And our winner is Gail Silman. Came from the private sector into the public sector to do this role and it's been extremely rewarding. And the winner is See, Understand and Respond to Child Sexual Abuse, a practical kit. The project was about developing a kit to help our practitioners have really, really tough conversations with families in order to keep children safe from sexual abuse. And the winner is Creating Aboriginal Employment Pathways, a Justice Aboriginal Employment Program. To get Aboriginal people working um, within New South Wales um, government, especially within justice, um, is a main focus and a, a great sort of stepping stone for Aboriginal people to come into um, the New South Wales Department of Justice. And our winner is Samantha Smith. Part of these programs were to break down the barriers not only with young people but with their families and the Aboriginal communities so they feel more comfortable engaging with us. We have joint winners, so I'll present them on stage one at a time. First up, Aurora College. Well, Aurora College is the uh, state's first virtual school and we're being recognised tonight for the, uh, the great effort by a great many people in establishing what is a unique provision. And the second winner in this category is Exceeding Learning Expectations, Canley Vale High. And the winner is Dr. Brad Russell. And in this category, the winner is Fast Track at Liverpool City Council. And the winner is Community Corrections Practice Guide for Intervention.
And our winner is the Mully Mully Cleanup Project. Congratulations and bring them up here. Hunter New England and Central Coast Commissioning and Planning Team. We had the challenge of meeting the Premier's priority on youth homelessness and we smashed it over two years. It gives me great pleasure to announce that the winner of the 2018 Premier's Award is... Gail Silman. We've got $87 billion worth of infrastructure here and it's great to see that the people of New South Wales can get some share in that economic prosperity. Now I'm now going to invite to the stage Ms Emma Hogan, Public Service Commissioner, to co-present our next award. It's the Anthea Kerr Award for Individual Excellence. The winner is Tammy O'Connor. I'm fortunate enough to be a clinical midwifery consultant for the Western New South Wales Local Health District and I've been part of setting up an outreach maternity service which provides antenatal and postnatal care within rural and remote communities. I'm incredibly proud that all of you have stood up to the challenge of making sure that we are the fairest society we can be, the strongest state in the nation, but most importantly that we exercise our responsibilities with the greatest degree of empathy and compassion and the notion that everybody deserves to be their best and everybody deserves to have access to those services which improve the quality of life of all of our citizens.